It's great to be alive. No sun still shining when I close my eyes. Listen, hard times in the neighborhood. But why can every day be just as good? Hi, and welcome back to Once Upon a Tiny Farm. My name's Drew. In today's video, we're actually going to be planting more potatoes and I'm really pushing it um, because last year our last our last frost date is typically in my area sometime around the mid to late October but last year we didn't get our first frost until uh, into November so I'm hoping that if I plant potatoes right now they'd be ready it would be 90 days by the end of October and as long as we don't get a frost by then, I'll have another harvest of potatoes. So I wasn't planning on it, but today I went to Tractor Supply for something totally unrelated to potatoes, but I saw they still had a few bags of seed potatoes left, and I talked to the store manager. Some of them didn't look good. I got a really good deal. I got It was $1.49 per four pound bag, and I got their last 15 pounds of seed potatoes. So that's 60 pounds of seed potatoes. I'm gonna plant as many as I can um, some of them I'm going to plant right back into these pots. I'm gonna, in my last video, uh, when I harvested these potatoes from these pots, I was saying that I didn't put enough soil in here. So I'm gonna fill up these pots with more compost and mushroom soil uh, mixed. That's what I've had to use all year in my market garden. So I'm gonna replenish the soil in these bags. I'm gonna, again, put two potatoes, I think, in each of these 10 gallon grow bags. And the other way I'm going to be growing potatoes is actually in the ground in my market garden beds. And I'm going to be planting them. I will show you when I do this, but I'm going to be planting them under a uh, black um, landscape fabric to keep out weeds. And I'm going to be planting them two feet apart. But th so there's going to be two rows and in those two rows in each of my 30 inch wide beds, they're going to be a foot apart all the way down. So they're gonna be two feet apart in the bed and then one foot apart all the way down the row. So I'm gonna fit as many potatoes as I can and um, get them in the ground as soon as possible because I'm running out of time. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Stick around. All right, so here are the, I think I got 15 bags. Their last 15 bags of seed potatoes. Some of them look a little gross, but there are still some good seed potatoes in there. And I got all these bags for 15 bucks, so whatever I get, I'll get and I'll be happy with. It's a good deal, so I'm going to plant these right now. I am going to put two again in each of these bags, and then I'm going to hill up these bags almost to the top. And then I think I am going to use some rabbit manure on top as a fertilizer to add some more nutrients to all of these bags and hopefully we'll get a nice healthy round of potatoes sometime in late October. So let's go. Alright, so now I've planted two potatoes in each of these pots and I'm going to hill them up with some more compost and then I'm going to add some little bit of rabbit manure on top and then give them a little water and then I'm going to go on to my second planting. I still have a few bags left. I could probably do at least probably one row um, in the garden, uh, in row in my market garden. So I'm going to finish uh, hilling these up and get on to the next, next one. All 
All right, so now I've hilled these up. I'm just gonna add some bunny gold, some rabbit manure, and this has been basically my main input this year. Last year, my main input was worm castings. Um, this year, I'm still using worm castings, um, but I'm just using it in my seed starting mix for my, um, my lettuce transplants and everything else that I transplant. It's in my seed starting mix so that when I transplant it, that worm casting is still getting into the soil with each transplant. Um, so it's still acting as a soil amendment. This stuff I just started getting this year because my neighbors have bunnies and they would otherwise do nothing with the with the manure, but I'm taking buckets full each week and I've been using it in my carrot beds. The carrots are doing great. It's got every uh, nutrient, mineral, whatever that your plants need. The, this rabbit manure has it and you can apply it directly to your garden without having to compost it. So this is awesome. I'm going to just lightly, see they just, I don't know if you could see that, but they're just little poop pellets. I'm just gonna put a little bit on top and over time these will break down and every time it rains, these will just add nutrients into these pots. And I've learned when you grow things in pots or containers, it's important to add some kind of nutrients to them because that's all there is, is whatever's in that soil. And if it's very stale kind of soil, then the plants are gonna be maybe missing something. They, they need something to eat. They need good stuff. And this rabbit manure has everything the plants could ever ask for. So happy to be using this. And when people ask me at the market, um, I have a sign that says we are a regenerative farm. And they ask me what that means. To me, regenerative farming means you're not using any chemical inputs whatsoever. Um, there are some organic approved fertilizers and herbicides that are still considered organic. Um, but to me, they're still chemicals and I still, even if they're approved, I just don't want any chemicals in the garden. And regenerative to me is using all animal inputs, keeping it as natural as possible the way things have been grown for centuries. So just getting back to the basics. That's how I view regenerative is about soil building. We're building soil even though, even if it's just in these containers, we're building soil, yeah, high quality soil with the most natural inputs. So to me, that is what regenerative farming is. So here we are. Um, this is where I've been growing my lettuce this year. And um, maybe I'll pan over this way after um, I'm talking here. But I just put down this weed fabric this morning and I burned holes in here with uh, my new propane torch to eliminate weeds. Cause you might be able to see back there behind these rows the row actually goes like another like 15 feet, but um, I'm making my rows about 30, these might be 40 feet, I, I'm not sure. Um, that's what happens when you don't have a weed fabric, you have a jungle that starts to grow. And I don't want that to happen anymore, I just want to be able to plant my lettuce and let them grow and not have to, I don't have time to pick weeds all the time. So anyway, I'm gonna be planting more lettuce here, but one of these rows I'm gonna set aside for potatoes and I was explaining earlier that I want to these are about um, these are about 12 inches apart these holes um, I I wasn't intending to plant potatoes uh, this morning before I went to tractor supply <laughs> when I did this I would have not done the center holes uh, for at least one of these rows because what I mean is I'm gonna put these uh, potatoes one here and one here and they're about 12 inches apart here. So I wanna have them two feet apart um, and then one foot apart down the row. So that's how I want to plant as many as I can. I have like nine bags left. There's only like five or six potatoes in each of these bags and some of them aren't good. So I'll go, um, I wanna experiment with this anyway because I might try this um, next year in the spring. Um, I wanna see how they do growing 
under the weed mat like this. Um, so let's try it out and in a couple months we will see which ones did better, the ones in the pots or the ones in the ground. So let's get started. All right, so I'm just gonna plant the first few here then I'll probably do the rest of time lapse. These have been in the bag so long. This one is starting to grow a little potato already. It's not even in the soil. Hope, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Probably not good, but I'm gonna get these in the soil and I'm just gonna dig down and put them in as far as I can and then I'm gonna I'm gonna hill up with I'm gonna put some more soil on top here um, in each of these holes that I put the potatoes but for now just going to dig far down hand as I can and then add more soil on top So I never did this before, but for some of these, they're too big for these holes, I'm gonna cut them, which will serve two purposes. I'm supposed to let this dry out before I put it in, but I'm just gonna do it. Um, so I'll get an extra seed potato by doing it this way, and I'll be able to fit it in this hole. So I might be able to make further down each row by doing this. So I might actually do that for all of these. You're supposed to let these scab over before you plant them, but hopefully this will be okay. And now they'll fit and I'll get extra, possibly more potatoes out of doing it this way. Another observation here is these uh, Norland red potatoes, I only got one bag, they seem to store a lot better than the Yukon Golds do. So I wonder if that's the case with, you know, regular, if you're not, you know, you're saving them, storing them to eat. I wonder if the red ones actually store better than the Yukon Golds. I wouldn't be surprised to see how they did when this one seed potato packet looks a lot better than the others. All right, so my camera died uh, yesterday when I was filming this part of the video, but I planted this entire row here. I think this is about 35 feet, something like that. And I hilled up a little bit um, in each of these holes. This is where they are. And I have these center holes all the way down. I might do something like green onions uh, i'm not sure if i want to do head lettuces down here when all the foliage comes from these potatoes that might mess up the uh, head lettuces but some scallions might do well down the middle here but this is what i've done i'm hoping this will work what i'm really hoping is that these tubers kind of stay under this weed fabric and um that, that would be nice so I don't have to I don't want to put a ton of soil on top of this this uh, weed fabric that would kind of defeat the point of, of the weed fabric we'll see how this goes but um, I really like having the fabric here got another row ready to plant some more uh, salad mix got some more growing over here everything's looking good maybe uh, one of my next few videos I want to do a farm tour because I haven't done that yet this year um, but the farm kind of looks like a jungle right here so I need to take out about six rows of carrots there's actually carrots in there beyond these weeds uh, there's some sunflowers that I didn't plant that's from chickens feed chickens were there last year there was actually 
when I started this video, I said there were two ways I was going to be planting these potatoes to sneak them in. I actually had a few potatoes left after planting all of them out in this row. And there's a third way that I'm planting potatoes, and that's in one of my raised beds. So my last few uh, seed potatoes went in this raised bed that I had originally intended for corn. Um, I did a video on that, planting the corn. The corn uh, did not get watered, and I think some animals were in here that dug out some of the seeds. Some of them started to grow, whatever. I just gave up on the corn. It was already late. I'm just planting potatoes. I actually have two more bags of potatoes. I have to find a spot to plant those. But there you go. Planted potatoes three different ways. Raised bed, pots, pots, and in the ground in the market garden beds under the weed fabric. So we'll see which way does best. Hopefully they all work and we get tons of potatoes in late October. That would be really awesome. So that's going to wrap up this video on three ways I'm growing potatoes, trying to squeeze in one last potato harvest before we start getting into the colder winter months. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. That would really help out our channel. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. I'd really, really appreciate it. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.